Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Mind Splatter. So guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss top weird Minecraft mob facts you may know. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video. Subscribe if you still haven't and turn on the post notification for more videos. Minecraft mobs form the essence of the game. Number 5. Piglins have smooth moves. Piglins were added in the 1.60 Nether update. They, along with their zombified counterparts, completely replaced the original inhabitants of the Nether, the zombie pigmen. While piglins are best known for the bartering system that allows speedrunners to complete the game in less than 10 minutes. However, piglins are also known for their hunts on the hoglins, which are large nether boars. Sometimes after successfully hunting a hoglin down, all the piglins involved in the hunt will dance. While this is quite rare in the Java edition of the game, it is more common in the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. Number 4. Turtles have an interesting mob drop when killed by lightning. Turtles are one of the cutest and most beloved mobs in the game. While they have little purpose outside of letting players acquire turtle shells to wear, their eggs are useful for zombies and drowned farms, as zombies will attempt to jump on and crush any turtle eggs they find. However, this is not the only unfortunate fate that can befall turtles and their eggs. If a turtle is unlucky enough to be struck by lightning during one of the game's uncommon thunderstorms, the turtle will die, which is to be expected. Instead of any of their normal drops, turtles will instead drop wooden bowls when killed in this manner. Number 3. Parrots and bats are unbreedable. The advancement that is unlocked for players when they breed their first pair of animals is parrots and the bats. Despite the name of the advancement listing parrots and bats, in an ironic twist of fate, neither of these mobs can mate either by the player's actions or naturally. Parrots are one of only three tamable mobs that cannot breed. Other members of this list are skeleton horses and mules. Mules cannot breed due as their real-life counterparts cannot, as they are the offspring of a mule and donkey. The third tamable mob incapable of the breed is the skeleton horse, which has no organs. Parrots are the only tamable mob that has no reason to be unable to breed. Number 2. Endermen can make snow golems. An exciting yet relatively unknown feature within Minecraft is the ability for players to place a carved pumpkin on top of two snow blocks to create a snow golem. This is one of the game's two golems, the other being the iron golem. However, players are not the only mob in the game that can create this artificial life. The game does not check whether the player placed these blocks in the requisite order. Rather, all the game cares about is if the blocks are where they need to be. Since Endermen can move snow and pumpkin blocks, there is a 1 in 5 trillion chance for an Enderman to create a natural snow golem. Number 1. Evokers have the conversion power from the Age of Empires. Evokers are an interesting mob. Outside of the Witch's Potion Brewing, which is quite different, they are the only humanoid mob seen using magic. This already makes them quite the unique mob. However, there is one particular spell that pushes this uniqueness to the next level. This spell is the Sheep Color Conversion spell. When an evoker gets within the aggro range of a blue sheep, the evoker will cast a spell on the sheep, converting its color to red. This is a reference to the popular four-time strategy game Age of Empires. In Age of Empires, players can use a priest unit to convert enemy units to their side, changing them from blue to red or red to blue, depending on the player's faction color. Since Minecraft and Age of Empires are both owned by Microsoft, Mojang was able to use the official audio file for the Wolalo that the priest unit uses, meaning the evoker makes the same sound as the priest unit, making this by far one of the game's best Easter eggs. So guys this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this we end our video. Hope you liked the video.